Hello and welcome. I'm Ben from Digitechnical Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an Anywhere USB device and set up Anywhere USB Manager in standalone mode on a Windows PC connected to the same network as the Anywhere USB device. The first task is to make sure that the Anywhere USB is physically connected. You can see here I have an Anywhere USB 2. There's the Ethernet interface, a couple of USB interfaces and the power connector. The Ethernet interface is already connected to the same network as the Windows PC. The thing I'd like to bring your attention to here is that the power connector is a twist and lock barrel connector. You can see that there is a slight gap at the top showing some silver. This is not in the locked position. You have to twist until the barrel connector drops into position, pushing down at the same time, and then lock it by twisting it in a clockwise direction. And then from there, the connector is nice and solid. It's not going to come out. The Ethernet interface has a default IP address of 192.168.210.1/24. It also runs a DHCP client. So when you connect the Anywhere USB device to your local network, as long as there's a DHCP server, it will obtain an IP address automatically. You can then have a look at the IP address allocations on your DHCP server to see which IP address was assigned. I had a look at my DHCP server and it was assigned 192.168.0.184. So I'll just refresh this screen and I'm prompted with the login page. The username is admin. The password is on the underside of the Anywhere USB device on the label. We can see there bottom left that the Anywhere USB service is running and nothing's configured. For reference, this is an Anywhere USB 2 and the firmware version is 24.3.28.87. This is the same process though on any of the other Anywhere USB devices. I'm going to add some configuration onto this Anywhere USB device. I'm going to go to System, Anywhere USB Configuration. And this is the main configuration page you will use to add the Anywhere USB Manager to be able to connect to this Anywhere USB device. We can see there that the service is enabled and the Anywhere USB device is listening on TCP port 18574. Below there are the group settings. And this shows that USB port 1 and USB port 2 are both assigned to the group number 1. Group number 2 has no devices assigned to it. So let's scroll down a bit and we can add in a client ID. A client is a PC running the Anywhere USB Manager software that is going to connect to this Anywhere USB device. I'm going to click on Add Client and give it a name. The name has to be unique to the device that's going to be connecting in. I'm going to give it the descriptive name of local. The description is Windows 11 PC, and I'm going to give this PC access to group number one, which is both devices connected to USB ports one and two. I'll click on add, okay, and we can see local at the top. This here that says new client, just remove that. So the only client configured is local. On the PC that I would like to have access to this Anywhere USB device, I need to download, install, and configure Anywhere USB Manager. To do this, I go to digi.com, click on support, and then select your product. I'm going to select Anywhere USB and select the device that I have. Scroll down and there's a link here for Anywhere USB Manager. So I'm going to install it now. I double click to run, click next on the first screen, and I'm going to run this in standalone mode. Click on install. If you prefer Anywhere USB Manager to run every time you log on to the PC, make sure this box is checked. I'm going to remove this because this is just a demo. Click on finish. When you first run Anywhere USB Manager, it will ask for a client ID for this computer. This client ID needs to match the client ID we configured in the previous step. So I typed in local. I'm going to type in local here as well. And you can see here, because the device is on the same network as the PC, the Anywhere USB Manager software automatically discovers the Anywhere USB device and connects. 
If we expand this, we can see Group 1, but at the moment there are no USB devices attached. If I connect a USB device, such as a USB flash drive, you can see now there is a plus to expand the group. And we can see a USB flash drive is now connected. I'm also going to connect another device, is a webcam. In a moment, we should see that populate into the group. And we can see here now we've got a webcam and the USB flash drive. To access these devices, we need to connect. So right click on group one and click connect to group. It says there that group one is now in use by me. I can access these devices as if they were connected to the local PC. I go into this PC, into the USB drive, and we can see there, there are just a few music files on that USB drive. I can also access the USB webcam by going into the Windows camera app. Hello, this is me. <laughs> and if I change the camera, it switches over to the USB webcam, which is focused on the Anywhere USB 2. If multiple PCs would like to use the same devices as you are using at the moment, so for example, if somebody else wanted to use this flash drive or webcam, you need to make sure that this Anywhere USB manager is disconnected first. So in here, right click and choose disconnect from group. And that will free up these devices for somebody else to use. And that comes to the end of this demo. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. For more information on this or any other Digi device, please see the support pages at digi.com forward slash support.